I'm the director of the Michael Barlow Center of St. Leonard's Ministries. Our purpose is to help men and women with criminal backgrounds start a new life, and specifically looking at providing them with job search skills, job training, and education services to help them become economically self-sufficient. The Julian Year intern, Brett, is actually the third one that we've hosted, and he and all, as his predecessors have, have become basically members of our staff. They fill a very important function for us. They help out on working with people putting together their resumes, helping them with job search. They spend time with them, um, just working through some of the issues of the day. I get people ready for job applications. Um, many of the people here, uh, you know, may have gone to prison at a time when you could just walk down the street and grab an application somewhere and then turn it into that same place. And a lot of places now want you to do it online. And so they don't know how to use a computer to do it. So that's part of what I teach them. And then I also do individual one-on-one -on -one job development with people. So it's, uh, you know, resume building, cover letters, um, filling out an application. And so, I mean, every day is a little different, a little structured a little differently. So that's, I like that. Social justice is not an easy win, no matter what your issue is. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of walking and talking. And some of that is something that needs to be built into people early and young. And so we hope that we provide that opportunity for our Julian volunteers to think about the people that they work with, to think about their circumstances, to think about the settings in which they live, and what are the social justice issues around those, and what can they do, what perspectives can they now take into the social justice discussion and movement based on what they see here at St. Leonard's and the Michael Barlow Center. It was just a calling that I had. I, I felt like the, the work that I was doing wasn't really benefiting other people as much as I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to have that direct service to others. I wanted to you know, have that, that interaction with people and to actually see the benefits that I was, that I was providing. We see this as an opportunity for personal growth for them. And especially this year with Brett, we have done, provided him with a wide range of opportunities that have been made available. Not a lot of, of people my age are really sure of what they want to do. And coming right out of college, I thought I knew what I wanted to do, and I got into the working world, and I said, this isn't what I want to do at all. So um, it, it's a good way to, it's like a no-risk way to, to help figure that out. I mean, it's someone's gonna someone provides you with your housing and your food and all you have to do is explore your career interests and you know serve others and it, it seems like a pretty good deal to me. Yeah.